as a beginner freelancer in Fiverr, it can be pretty overwhelming to learn to price your gigs properly, especially if you don't have any prior experience in freelancing. And with AI generated images, as we don't have any established parameters, it can be pretty hard. It happened with me, I know. I am guilty of pricing my gigs too poorly or too pricing. And as a result, I got no buyers for a long time. Therefore, I want to share that experience with you all so that you don't end up making the same mistake that I did and waste precious time. The first mistake anyone can do, it happens mostly with beginners, that is to price your gigs too poorly. As beginners, we tend to get overwhelmed seeing the quality of work veteran artists are providing in Fiverr and try to compete with them. And the very first thing we do is try to lower our prices to attract more buyers. Yeah, that can be a good strategy when you are just starting out, but sometimes it can backfire. If you lower your prices too much, then most buyers are gonna avoid you. Do you know why? Because if something seems too good to be true, we tend to avoid it. And that happens with everyone in every field. That's why they will think it's too cheap and it might not deliver good results at all. And in most cases, serious buyers are gonna avoid it. Some people would try to contact you, some people would offer you gigs mostly because they want to test the water with you or something like that or maybe there can be buyers who are just on fiber looking for something specific to be made for their project and they don't have much of a budget but attracting such buyers won't work in your favor in long term if you are here for the long game you have to attract quality buyers buyers that are gonna spend considerable amounts for quality works and those who have regular works in long term Another problem that occurs mostly with lowly priced gigs is that you tend to slack off in the work. Yeah, now you might be saying that no, we are very serious in it and we are gonna work so hard in it, provide the most value possible. But let's accept that money is a very big motivation. After all, that is the reason you are on fiber, right? To earn money. And most of the people that uses AI generated arts either they are already in graphic designing space photo editing space or something like that and want to try out this new tool and new opportunities or many are there who are just learning the new ai tools getting amazed with them and want to earn some money to either support themselves or at least pay for the subscription for the tools with midjan it is at least 30 dollars a month with runpod if you are working with stable diffusion if you are a premium subscriber of leonardo ai that also comes at a cost so money is the main motivation for most of us when we are in fiber for lowly priced gigs past two three gigs it's gonna work fine if they are ordering your basic gigs then it's okay five dollar ten dollars you are doing some work with poorly priced gigs it's very likely to lose that motivation i did the same mistake my first gig was I was offering 40 images for $5. There was one order, someone ordered, I generated 40 images for $5. I was yeah, okay with it. For the next gig, someone ordered the premium package, $40 for 400 images and with varying instructions. I was happy, $40 with fibers cut, I'll get $30. That month's mid journey subscription would be covered by that. But the problem arised as I started working on it. It was a very long work. Also, I was very excited initially. I started losing my motivation in the midway. And soon by the end of it, I was totally frustrated. I was wishing that how fast I can do it, how fast it's gonna end. It would take hours and hours for all those prompts, all those variations, selecting the best ones, upscaling and everything. And I was all along wishing for it to end. I was pretty exhausted at the end of the game. The first thing I did after delivering the order, I changed the price. I upped them to somewhere more comfortable for me, somewhere I would not feel as demotivated as this one and that's how it went. The third problem that you might encounter with those low end gigs is that the orders and the works that you get are not as interesting as in higher tier ones. 
that gig of mine required me to just generate images based on the client's prompts make variations of it upscale the selected few the which were the best and deliver it there was no creative work nothing i had to wrap my head around or, or something like that in that one so it was not as interesting to me as my other gigs that's why i didn't like that gig that much but nevertheless i kept that gig in any case i attract some buyers but nevertheless i kept that gig to see if i could attract some more buyers but up the price and also focused more on other gig of mine that was performing way better than this one i'll uh, come back to that gig in the end but nevertheless i have still kept that gig to attract a few more buyers if possible but i have upped the price but focused more on the other gig of mine that has brought me most sales till date now coming to the next mistake that even the veteran freelancers end up making is pricing their gigs too highly it happens with all of us sometimes we overestimate our abilities and price our services too highly that people would just avoid it you need to understand one thing if people are gonna hire you a complete beginner then they are not willing to pay much at all for their requirements if they can afford it why wouldn't they go for a professional someone that's been working for a decade or something like that if I could afford a $3,000 camera, there is no way I would be shooting with a $700, $800 one. Similarly, if a buyer, someone is in need for a work, can afford something who has much more experience than I or you ever had, then why would they willing to pay less? They will go for that person, hire him or her for their requirements and get the work done. If they are looking for beginners or at least a few months or one or two years, working freelancers then they are either in a budget or don't want to spend that much for that project therefore if you keep your prices a little too high then they are just gonna ignore or avoid you and go for the next affordable one therefore always remember to not price your gigs too highly now you'd ask if we don't price our gigs highly then how can we make money that's right we are giving our time we are giving our efforts we are spending time to learn the skills then how well there are several ways by which you can make some extra on the same gig first is offering a quick service in fiber there is an option you can turn it on to deliver your works faster than usual like uh, say you have a gig where you have promised to deliver the work in three days you can turn on an option in fiber where you deliver it in one day but you would charge $10 or $15 extra. Say it for the premium gig you have promised to deliver it in 7 days. If the buyer needs it in 3, he would have to pay $30 extra. Yeah, most buyers wouldn't go for that, but some definitely would. And that would earn you some extra. There is another option. You can offer more services in adjacent to your pre-existing ones to earn some more. Like for AI generated images, you can offer extra services like upscaling. If you are using an AI upscaler like Lightroom, Topaz Gigapixel or Chainer or something like that, then you can offer to upscale those images and get them print ready and delivered for a little extra fee. That way you can earn some money. If you need some guidance about which upscaler to use or which might be best for your needs, there is a link in the description where I have explained different image upscalers for your AI generated images. You can go check that out. Next you have knowledge of Photoshop or some image editing software like that. You can give an offer to do some minor retouch and some changes or something like that and also offer that for a little bit extra. Like I had a geek there, one person he wanted an image of his granddaughter to be made where she was a fairy he provided me with two low resolution images of his granddaughter most probably downloaded from facebook or something like that and one image of a fairy like which he wanted his granddaughter to be portrayed but in mid journey you can't make exact replica of someone in stable diffusion you need at least 20 images to get a proper replica of someone yeah you can go do it with as low as 8 images but in this case that was not even available and 8 images don't do a proper representation of someone in stable diffusion. I just took that image of hers and that image of fairy faded it into mid journey and created an image of a fairy that looked 
similar to her like sim somehow similar hair color and similar somehow similar outfit and all that but it was not her i put that in photoshop i composited her face roughly onto that image fed it into leonardo ai and did an image to image transformation that blended her face to that image pretty much nice then again brought it to photoshop did some color correction again fed it to leonardo ai to and forth and it was ready i gave him a custom offer for that one around 40 dollars for that entire project that's how that's how you can earn some extra from the same gig that is not priced like it will scare away the buyers and you can always upgrade your skills you can learn new skills uh, learn new tools and incorporate them in your workflow and then you can increase the price then you can change the prices according to your needs and everything now the question comes to this then how can we know what might be the proper price of our services especially with ai generated images it's really pretty hard to know because but not as new as you think it to be a quick tip you can use uh, i use the same one myself that i went to fiverr switched to a buyer account and searched for gigs with tags like mid journey stable diffusion ai generated image and everything and there were few gigs with the similar services that i was willing to provide i looked up on them and tried to see which ones were making most sales and how they were priced they were mostly similar i priced one of my gigs according to that and it blew up initially i was providing three images in that gig for one set of instruction for ten dollars after a while tools were also getting advanced and i thought i should upgrade the prices a little bit as i had a little more experience now and and can provide a much better representation of the buyer's imagination right now in a very short time compared to earlier obviously therefore i changed the prices a bit here you can see that gig is now priced at 15 dollars the basic one there is a standard one there is a premium one now that gig is priced at 15 dollars for three images i have also added add-ons like prompt delivery upscaling etc for an added price and while communicating with the buyers if i get to learn that they need some more services that are within my skill set i offered them a custom offer and that's pretty much it uh, currently i have three gigs running the minimum priced one is at 15 dollars for 40 images of 10 prompts provided by the buyer himself the highest priced one is for 20 dollars for one image where i discuss with the buyer and also offer unlimited revisions and upscaling within the package the gig that gets most sales is the third one that where i provide three images for 15 dollars on one set of instructions and and you would be very surprised to know in most of the orders on in that gig i make more much more than 15 dollars 15 dollars is the best price even the buyers that order the basic package to test the waters with me leave tips most of the times they sometimes order add-ons like upscaling, Photoshop retouch, and that way I make more than $15. Most orders I get are on medium package that is $40. And some buyers that have already worked with me on the basic or the medium priced package, they order the pro level ones if they need. That's why it's going pretty good. As of now, I have made $498 in last two months of me working in Fiverr. And I hope to earn a lot more in the coming months. I have shared the 10 tips I have learned while working in Fiverr for last two months in a two part video. You can check out the link is in the description. See you on the next video. Keep creating.